Hello, YouTubers. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new to this channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so happy to have you guys here with me today on the Coil Journey YouTube channel. This YouTube channel is a way for me to document my life journey and just to give you guys some tips or tricks that I have learned along the way. As promised, I'm going to give you guys three videos per month. That is it, just three videos per month. Video number one is going to be a hair maintenance video. Video number two is going to be an inspirational and encouraging word video. And then video number three is what we're doing today, which is one of my favorites of the month. And that is a monthly hair update. So let's just go ahead and get into this short, sweet, simple video. All right, guys. So it has been a busy, busy month. Um, I think the last update that I gave you guys was about three weeks ago. Um, since three weeks ago, I haven't seen any major, major changes or updates, but I did still want to bring you guys an update video just so that I don't leave y'all out here hanging like that. Um, but this is my 13th month lock update. Um, the main thing I wanted to touch with you guys on is me fixing my locks that I combined. Remember I told you guys that I wanted to use the crochet needle. I have not done the crochet needle just yet because three weeks ago um, when I was telling you guys about this, um, I didn't think about extending my wash and retwist regimen, but now I think I've decided to stretch it out for another two weeks. So usually I wash my hair every four weeks. So that means I will wash my hair this weekend um, on Saturday or Sunday, but I have an event um, next week, the week after that. So it's like the 13th that date or whatever. And so I wanted to make sure that my hair looked really, really good and neat and groomed um, for that event. So I'm going to hold out an extra week. So instead of the four week mark that I'll wash my hair, I'm going to do five weeks this time just so my hair can look really nice and groomed. So hopefully during that five week mark, I can try to go in and do the crochet needle. Um, I just, I don't know. I just, one, I haven't had time to do it. And two, um, I wanted to stretch out my wash and retwist for another week. So hopefully I'll be able to kind of like see how my hair is doing stretching it out for five weeks because usually I do four. So I'm curious to know how my hair is going to react to me um, waiting an extra week. So we will see. And me stretching my hair out to the fifth week is not going to be a consistent thing that I do. I still think I'm going to, it's best for my hair to be washed every four weeks. I just want to do it for this specific occasion. So I will let you guys know like what happens. And by that time, I'll be able to give you a more accurate update. It's only been three weeks since my last update. So I haven't really seen um, much changes in my hair. Like other than being able to put my hair in a top knot and, um, you know, a top knot bun, just the front part, not the back y'all. Cause the back ain't there yet, but I'm able to put the front um, in a top knot bun. If you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen a picture of me with that. Um, so that's another thing that's, you know, been updated within these last three weeks. Um, but I mean, right now I'm just really enjoying the journey. I don't want to come on here and make up stuff. I just haven't really seen that many changes within the last three weeks. So hopefully by May, the May update video, I'll be able to give you some more concrete things that I see differently in my locks. All right, y'all. So like I said, this video was going to be short, sweet, and simple because I don't have that many updates. Um, but one thing, well, I can give you this update. This update is that I find myself getting a little bit lazy <laughs> with my hair now just because I'm like, okay, I reached that one year mark and like my hair is super easy and simple to take care of. So I'm just like, eh, eh. But I am still um, making sure that I am consistently um, oiling my scalp and just making sure I'm implementing, um, getting blood flow to the scalp. So I have like a little... Um, massager that you can put your hand in and massage your scalp and I've been doing that to just increase blood flow and circulation in my scalp to make sure my hair follicles are um are working the way they should be and not dead um so that's just one of the major things I've been implementing within this last three weeks um so that's helped a lot um but yeah so hopefully we'll bring you guys some more um, updates in May. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, like, share, subscribe. I hope to see you guys next time.